Okay, I'm beginning the. I'm being. All right, here's Cassandra and her friend Janet. This is Cassandra's experiment project that she made out of household junk, things that would have been recycled or thrown away. This is a car that's supposed to travel over one meter under its own power. So how did you make that, Cassandra? Um, we um, had a lot of popsicle sticks. So we broke the popsicle sticks and we glued them together and then we found some Gatorade caps and glued them onto the popsicle sticks and made a hole in them so we could put a little bit of wood through them so they would stick on. And also we used this aluminum foil can so that it, this could hold, so it could hold this up and so the fan blades could turn well. Without hitting the ground? Without hitting the ground. You came really close, didn't you? Yes, I okay. can still put my fingers under there. Good. And then... And then we ha since it was a little bit too heavy on the back, we added this weight in the front. Which is a marble? Right here. Marble. And then we winded up the rubber band. There's a rubber band. And we winded it up. So these will turn. So you stored the energy in the rubber band and it's going to be released when you let the propeller turn? Yes. Okay, and the propeller is made out of toothpicks yes. and newspaper? Yep. Yeah. Very good. And a piece of cork from the trash? Yes. It's a pretty ugly piece of cork. <laughs> okay, very good. So now... Oh yeah, and we have shish kebabs in there. Shish kebabs. Yeah. Yep, for the axles? Oh, okay. Thanks. All right. We'll start this video over. Um, <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, that's good. All right. So, you have a milk bottle cap. What's the milk bottle cap for? Why did you have to have a milk bottle cap? To separate the... Toothpick from the cork so it could turn smoothly. Oh, I see. So it was like a bearing surface? Yes. I see. Very good. Okay. And so Janet's here to watch to make sure we do this correctly, right, Janet? Yeah. Oh, who's that? Tara. Hi, Tara. Your dog. That's your dog. Okay. Now. <clears throat> We've measured off one meter, right, Janet? Yeah. And that's the starting block. Right here. And then this is the straw. It really wants to go. It's the end. It really wants to go. Now, what's holding? Why isn't it turning right now? Because I'm holding it. Because you're holding it. Are you holding it from the front or the back? Both. Well, how are you going to release it if you hold it from the front? There you go. Make sure you get it pointed the right direction. It really wants to go. It really wants to go. Okay. Let her go. Whoa, we went way past the one meter mark. Look at that. It's chasing you. <laughs> wow, you made a record run there. That's got to be at least three meters. Three? I would guess we'll have to measure it. Good job. Look at that.